I am not alone when it comes to reacting to the next country song, but will it be a snap of a love wave biner, or will it be facing the shadow on its lonely planet? Let's find out together! Roll titles! <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. I am Jamie Jew. Welcome back to a brand new video where, once again, I react to another entry in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Two to go as far as the time of recording. Well, more to the point as far as the running is concerned. And yes, I know I've been a bit delayed, but calm everybody, all right? I'm getting these recordings done as soon as I possibly can. I eat right now. And this time around, reacting to the next country. Oh boy, oh boy, we do love them. It's just a shame they don't like Azerbaijan. It is, of course, Armenia. This time around, it is the turn of Brunette. Yeah, that's, that's the artist's name, not not the hair colour. Although her real name, Ellen Yeremian. Yeremian? I'm so sorry. We'll be representing the Armenians with the song Future Lover. Now, I believe I've heard of this at least once, but if I'm honest with you, it wasn't like the best quality sound or anything else at that, uncompared to these. So at the very least, I'm going to get some proper sound quality and a proper opinion and a proper reaction for you guys watching this particular video. So without any further ado, let's go and react to the penultimate song that was released for this year's national final selection, or at least internal selection, or whatever season you want to call it, for Armenia! Woohoo! Right, proper volume up and everything else like that. Let's go. Oh yeah, I vaguely remember this now. A little bit of do so mixing in with the uh, piano with the uh, voice do 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 kind of that thing. Very pretty, by the way. Drink smoothies in a near cafes. Interesting lyrics. Okay, building up a little bit now. Okay, very interesting lyrics at the bottom. Obviously speaking about you know undying love by the sounds of things. I think. Okay. Very high pitched sound with her voice. We're repeating the lyrics a little bit, aren't we now? Okay, building up now. Whoa! Okay. Bit of like slight rap singing going on here. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Interesting that they put rap in this. Mmm. I think it's okay, this sort of part. I like the background instruments, it goes building up and everything else like that. Just unsure about whether they should have included rap in this in the middle. My pain, my panic attacks. Mm, very good lyrics. And then just keep them that a little bit. Have we heard the actual title yet? Because I'm struggling to think of if I've heard of it yet. Mm. Oh, a little bit of Armenian. Okay, it's so far away from me. Left alone, far, far away. All right. I do like the instruments compiling together, like a sort of. Uh, like big band kind of a thing, especially with the violence in the background. I'm just unsure about all of it coming together with the lyrics and the rap part in the middle. Okay, that's it. Fair enough. Okay, okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'll have further, of course, listens to it in the meantime, as always. But nevertheless, check out my thoughts. So, some of the lyrics in regards to Future Lover go starting off a little bit like this. I just want to make art, read books and just find someone who likes me enough to kiss my face. I want to explore with him and visit old bookstores and cute little things like drink smoothies at near cafes. Repeat that one. Oh, Future Lover, I hope it all comes naturally. I hope our love is quiet outside but loud inside. Oh, baby. Um, oh, Future Lover, this song I wrote for you. This song I wrote for you, my Future Lover. I decide to be good, do good, look good, repeat. Now, I am not going to be uh, repeating all of that uh, rap stuff she does in the middle because we'd be here all day. And yes, uh, the, 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 the title is in the lyrics. My apologies on that one. So the lyrics, of course, very poignant and very, very actually very nice, actually, if you think about it, uh, because all she wants is someone to just share the same things that a future lover or potential lover uh, wants to be with and just wants to spend you know, the rest of those times together, have a lot of common with her future lover, um, which is very lovely. You know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to 
that. Just a shame not a lot of people will get that. But nevertheless, it is the music that is main driver in regards to this. Now, as far as the beginning and the end of it is concerned, I kind of got it playing in my head where it goes, do, 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 so if I decide to be good, do good, and do whatever she can for her lover, potentially, um, in, especially in regards to those lyrics. Uh, but it, but that's the catchy part. It's probably the hook of this particular song. Uh, da, 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 do, de, de, de. And it works well, especially to, in the latter third of the song, uh, where it's like, you know, very passionate and everything, and especially those uh, sort of like big band type Kind of like a big orchestra. That, that's that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, like a big orchestra with all the violins and the big you know, big basses and obviously the you know, it, very interesting, very good actually sounding drum beats. And I think there was a guitar in there, but I could be completely wrong with my ears. Now, the, as I say, the beginning bit where it's all slowly building up, really quite nice. I prefer the latter part because obviously it's a big crescendo and it is quite nice actually. But yeah, this, the, the, the middle bit unfortunately lets it down. Like, I don't know. I do, whenever I see rap, I most often I find it kind of a little bit cringy, unless, of course, you know, you're going to try and elevate the rap part, right? If, if it's rap throughout the song, I, I don't find it cringy. If anything, I didn't find like, Ukraine's winner last year cringy at all in terms of the uh, rap part. I found it cringy a little bit, you know, to begin with. But as you sort of grow to, you know, listen to the song, or you sort of go, yeah, da, 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 D, D, D kind of thing. It's it's it kind of smoothens out and doesn't get so cringy. This one I fear is going to be sticking my cringiness throughout it um, because if I'm honest with you, I, it's just the way that it's done for me. I don't feel comfortable with. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of poignant lyrics in regards to this. Like um, I'm not going to read it all out because I say we'd be here all day, but. I don't know. I just find it a little bit of a lost part of this particular song whereby people are going to be put off by it. I'm put off by it slightly. I get most of it and I, will, I do really like it. But um, I won't quite put it in the mayor category because it is like a ball, as I say. But I just don't expect this to do wonders. Now, do I expect it to qualify? Considering it's Armenia, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Because they've had an actually really good record. Like, uh, as far as I'm aware, they've only missed out on qualification a few times over the past few years. But over all the time that they've been in the competition, uh, which is very far and few between. Um, so I expect this to do well. And if I'm, if I'm honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if this does like a, another sort of snap kind of thing. Whereby it's popular on TikTok, for example. Because it's a nice little background song. Especially the rap part. People like that kind of... Uh, stuff on TikTok, but in terms of the Eurovision staging, I'm just not sure it's quite right for it. Uh, but nevertheless, I kind of expect it to qualify, but it will be battling for those, you know, latter top 10 spots, if I'm honest with you. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm just not quite hooked on it. And that about does it for this particular video, me reacting to Armenia, but never mind what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you see Armenia as an absolute Humdino rather be 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> or is it perhaps just a little bit too annoying for you with the rap part and you prefer a little bit more of the crescendo? Let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, you know the drill by now. Subscribe for more of my Eurovision juicy goodness. Smash the like button for good measure. And of course, I'll ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos. I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.